The FBI director, Chris Wray, has candidly testified before Congress that domestic terrorism is now the top priority threat in our nation. And more specifically, that hate-based groups, including white hate groups, are the top threat of violence within domestic terrorism. A couple of years ago, the head of counterterrorism for the FBI testified before Congress and learned to his dismay that some newer members of Congress were unaware that there were no federal laws against domestic terrorism. And the FBI Agents Association, representing the rank and file men and women of the Bureau, wrote an unprecedented letter to Congress stating that they lacked the tools needed to address this threat and they called for a domestic terrorism law. We should listen when the people sworn to protect us say they need our help. There's a second area where the power you possess and the purpose that drives the memorial and museum can serve as a bully pulpit to make things safer. Unquestionably, the kind of radicalization that got us to mass insurrection on January 6 was incubated and hatched with the aid of social media. Platforms like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Parler all served as echo chambers that amplified hateful rhetoric, helped like-minded violent extremists find each other, and even served as a planning and strategy forum for an insurrection. Importantly, these platforms allowed false and dangerous conspiracy theories to flourish and helped to mainstream the madness of the dangerous lies of groups like QAnon. These platforms are beginning to step up and take action. They are acknowledging their role in getting us to this point. They have suspended those who spread violence, hate, and lies. In the case of Parler, certain companies no longer provided the apps needed to exist. But those same companies tell us they simply cannot keep up. They cannot police themselves. The sheer volume of traffic is overwhelming. None other than Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook has stated he wants more regulation. We should take him up on that. Congress must regulate these platforms, not as media, but as a public utility. Violent hate speech and proven lies must be defined and applied across the industry so that terrorists can't forum shop for the most permissible platforms. And Congress should mandate reporting requirements to track and rate each platform's performance in addressing and identifying regulated content. If our government can track the safety and performance and near misses of each airline, we know they can find the social media platforms and rate them as to their safety and security. Your power and your purpose make you uniquely qualified to speak out in a meaningful way, a way that's most likely to be not only heard, but acted upon. In acting on these two issues, domestic terror legislation and social media regulation, your voices could become the voices of the victims of the Oklahoma City bombing, and you would honor and help shape their memory and our future.